All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. Have three TTMs back again this week. Was all ready to do a TTM video last week, and then I decided, nah, I don't feel like doing it. So let's get started. The first one comes from Mo Cheeks. Mo Cheeks went to West Texas State, now West Texas A&M. That is where I did my post-grad internship way back in, during the 2006-2007 school year. Home of Mercury Morris. Home of Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. Home of Tito Santana. Home of Terry Funk. And a whole bunch of other people who were in the wrestling business. A lot of famous people have attended West Texas A&M, and Mo Cheeks is obviously one of them. That is my connection to Mo Cheeks. I've never met the man, saw his jersey hanging, saw his pictures up, worked in the athletic department, so I was very familiar. Uh, I was familiar with Mo Cheeks before I was at West Texas A&M, West but really got familiar with his accolades in college then. Next one comes from Notre Dame legend Mike Gann. Played during the Jerry Faust era. Was on the same side of the ball as some guy named Mike Golick. Him and Mike Golick were a part of the same recruiting class. Had a pretty decent career. 21 sacks at Notre Dame. And then played nine seasons in the NFL and 23 and a half sacks. Notre Dame was pretty bad back when Mike Gann played. He never got to play for Lou Holtz. He was uh, graduated by the time Lou Holtz got in there. And speaking of Lou Holtz, here is one of his recruits, Adrian Jarrell. Now, Adrian was, was recruited by Lou Holtz in the early 90s, 90, 91, something like that. And so Adrian Jarrell gave an interview here last about six months ago. And... First day of practice, saw Rocket Ishmael on catching passes and, and doing Rocket Ishmael things. And Adrian told his teammates, man, I better get my degree because there ain't no way I'm going to get on the field as long as Rocket Ishmael is there. He didn't, he didn't do uh, many, uh, he didn't catch many passes at Notre Dame. He was a kind of do-it-all player. He punted, in fact, his senior year. He punted. Uh, he ran. He caught passes. He caught two, only two touchdown passes. Well, one caught one touchdown pass and ran the other touchdown. Uh, caught the touchdown against Michigan in one of the first night games in Notre Dame history. I believe that's that's what it was, the first night game in Notre Dame history. And then he ran uh, reverse against Florida State in the game of the century in 1993. Adrian Jarrell now is the director president of a football developmental team out in California, and they were probably closed. That's why it took 93 days for a return. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.